Hi, I'm Chris, and this is my friend Faison. And Faison is having a particularly bad day today. Unfortunately, he has a left shoulder injury. So I'm going to work on immobilizing that extremity, utilizing a sling and a swath. So I'm going to have my partner here, Fran, take stabilization of the arm. And as we do that, we're going to assess for circulation sensation and movement. Can you feel that, Faison? Mm -hmm. Can you move your fingers for me? Excellent, all right. When we deploy the cravat, we're gonna have the point end towards us, and I'm going to sneak this underneath the arm very gently. And I'm gonna have Fran hold that there until the point end is in the area of the elbow. This part can come around, and Fran is gonna hold that as well. And we want to make sure that there's enough tension on here so that Faison doesn't have to hold the arm there himself. I can then make a knot at the point of the triangle in order to make a little pocket for his elbow. And that just helps to secure things in place. Alternatively, there's usually a safety pin that can be used in this case as well. So once we do this and we have adequate tension here, we're gonna go ahead and make a knot. But before we make the knot, I'd like to have something to pad underneath the knot. And I usually use an ABD dressing or a five by nine that's folded up in order to prevent the knot from digging into the patient's skin. So once again, I'm gonna adequately pull tension. We're gonna go ahead and make the knot. I can reinforce that knot with another loop. And then we can take our free ends and tuck them underneath. All right. So now we're getting there. We're then gonna put on a swath in a similar fashion. We're gonna put this gently under the patient's arm. Wrap this around. And once again, I'm gonna make a knot, making sure to pat it once again. Every knot that we make, we wanna make sure that we have a pad underneath it. And once we have enough tension, we're gonna reinforce that knot. And finally, go ahead and tuck in the free ends of our flat. We're gonna once again reassess pulse, sensation, can you feel that? Mm -hmm. And motor, can you move your fingers? Excellent. And now you have the sling and a swath. Pain management is typically thought of as an ALS skill, but BLS interventions may significantly reduce the patient's pain. Many times immobilization techniques are either poorly applied or completely overlooked. Any movement of a dislocated or fractured extremity can be extremely painful. Paying attention to detail can go a long way at preventing unnecessary movement and subsequent pain. Even though immobilization is often removed at the ED for assessment, much of the patient movement occurs in the pre-hospital environment, so don't get discouraged that they're just going to take it off in the ED. Proper immobilization can really make a difference when the patient needs it most. For splints, pad all the voids and make the splint snug. If you are using a prefabricated splint, you still need to pad voids and you may need to reinforce the straps with tape. In this simulation, we're going to simulate a lower extremity fracture using padded board splints and how to properly stabilize a lower extremity fracture. My partner will hold stabilization to the leg. So we wanna be above and below with the leg already exposed. During the stabilization process, my partner should not release stabilization of the extremity until we're actually finished with the scenario. Another important item is when deploying a standard cravat, you wanna make sure that you deploy the cravat completely fully because if you do it just to the folded portion, it will not be long enough. 
So you want to fully deploy it, and then you're going to fold it. How we've learned, and where I want to go in is underneath a joint so that I don't move the extremity at all. And we're going to use four cravats in this stabilization. Okay, now I'm going to have my partner gently lift the leg, supporting. We're going to come down to about where the injury is. I'm going to come down one more time. Okay. And now we deploy our padded board splints so that we want to support above and below. And we're going to make sure that these are tied firmly. And now I'm above the knee, put an ankle hitch. And we have good peel sensation, and we have one more to tie. The free ends of the cravat were tucked in place to prevent snagging. Reassess neurovascular integrity periodically and after each time the patient is moved. And that's stabilization of a lower extremity fracture using padded board splints. The techniques described in this video are included to spark discussion, not as authoritative practice directives. Consider the benefits and limitations of each technique and discuss with your colleagues and medical director. The content is intended as an educational resource only and not intended to supersede any state, regional, or local guidelines, protocols, policies, medical direction, or any other authority.